Hi guys! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to be back doing this video. I have exciting news. There has been a reason why I was not here last week. So I just want to let you know guys that I am a married woman now. Do you see that? And I want to introduce you to my husband who is actually the mastermind of these videos. He's the one that does all the recording for us and most of the editing. So come here. This is my husband. Hi. His name is Ricardo de Santiago. Yes. And I'm going to introduce you to my family, Grace de Santiago. She is my co-host in these videos. Mm -hmm. She's my beloved daughter, and now my beloved son, my troublemaker, <laughs> Ricardo de Santiago. So, I always yes. care about handsome Kaiser. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, so anyways, I'm glad that um, I'm back. Um, and I have I'm married. Hand I have right here. official kids now. Hand sanitizer. And hand sanitizer. as always, I'm going to start sanitizer. this video with two dance alongs. Um, I'm sorry, prayer, two dance alongs, and we're going to have a little, um, what is it called? A lesson with a little tiny demonstration. All right, guys, so it is prayer time. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say the prayer in English and also in Spanish for those that don't speak English. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so close your eyes. We know that prayer is very important, so you need to concentrate. This is your moment between you and God, and I'll go ahead and begin. Um, Heavenly Father, I give you thanks for this moment, for this day. Thank you for all that you have done. Thank you for all our blessings. Um, I, bl I thank you, Lord, because we are healthy because of you, and we have everything that we need thanks to you, Lord. I ask, Lord, that this video reaches as many children as possible, and that you open up every single mind, every single heart of every single little kid that will be listening to this video, Lord. I ask that your will be done. I ask that you take control of this video. Um, thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross for our sins. Thank you for being our teacher. And I ask that you just bless this video and just take control. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Um, Padre Celestial, te doy gracias por este momento, por este día. Gracias por todas las bendiciones que nos has dado. Gracias, Padre, um, por todo lo que has hecho por nosotros, aunque no lo merecemos. Um, te doy gracias, Padre, por tanto, todo el amor que nos has dado. Gracias por mandar a Jesús, papá, a morir en la cruz por nuestros pecados. Uh, te pido, Dios, que por favor abre los corazones y los mentes de cada niño que esté mirando este video y que por favor este video alcance a muchos niños posible. Um, gracias, Padre, por todo lo que has hecho. Que se haga tu voluntad. Te pongo este video en tus manos. En el nombre poderoso de Jesús. Amén. Amén. Gracias. Let's go to the next. A lo siguiente.
we're going to discuss a miracle that happened. Um, this is a miracle that Jesus did, and we're talking about how Jesus resuscitated a little girl. Um, obviously, she was dead, and Jesus brought her back to life. So I'll go ahead and give you details of how this happened. I'm going to read this story in English, and then I'm going to go ahead and say it in Spanish. Um, this is actually in the in the Bible, in the book of Mark, chapter 5, verses 22 through 24, and also through 35 through 43. I'm going to go ahead and start reading in English, and then I'll go ahead and read it in Spanish. It says, a leader of the synagogue came. His name was Jairus. He saw Jesus and bowed down before him. He begged Jesus, saying, again and again, he begged Jesus again and again, saying, My little daughter is dying. Please come and lay your hands on her. Then she will be healed and she will live. So Jesus went with Jairus. Many people followed Jesus. They were pushing very close around him. While Jesus was still there speaking, some men came from the house of Jairus, the synagogue leader. They said, your daughter is dead. There is no need to bother the teacher. But Jesus did not care what the men said. He, he said to the synagogue leader, don't be afraid, just believe. Jesus let only Peter, James, and John, the brother of James, go with him. They went to the synagogue leader's home where Jesus saw many people crying loudly. They, there was a lot of confusion. He entered the house and said, Why are you people crying and making so much noise? This child is not dead. She is only sleeping. But everyone laughed at him. Jesus told the people to leave the house. Then he went into the room where the child was. He brought the child's father and mother and his three followers into the room with him. Then Jesus held the girl's hand and said to her, Talitha Koam, Koam. This means little girl, I tell you to stand up. The girl immediately stood up and began walking. She was 12 years old. The father and mother and the followers were amazed. Jesus gave the father and mother very strict orders not to tell people about this. Then he told them to give the little girl some food to eat. Amen. So that is a story Amen. of how Jesus resuscitated a little girl. And now I'm going to go ahead and read it in Spanish. Okay. Um, la niña está muy enferma. Tiene mucha fiebre. Su papá, Jairo, corre a pedir ayuda a Jesús. Señor, mi hija se está muriendo. Por favor, ven a sanarla. Jesús entiende a la petición de Jairo y le sigue hasta su casa. Cuando llegan, un empleado de Jairo sale corriendo. ¡Patrón! ¡Patrón! ¡Su hija ha muerto! Ya no, ya no sirve de nada molestar al Señor Jesús porque la niña ya murió. Pobrecito Jairo. Él se pone muy triste porque el empleado le dice que su hija que estaba enferma acaba de morir. Pero Jesús anima a Jairo y le dice, no tengas miedo Jairo, cree en mí, tu hija va a estar bien. No llores Jairo, confía en Jesús. Jairo cree en, en Jesús. Él sabe que Jesús puede hacer cualquier cosa, incluso resucitar a una persona muerta. La casa de Jairo está llena de parientes y vecinos. Todo el mundo está llorando porque la hija de Jairo murió. Jesús pregunta, ¿Por qué tanta lloradera? Dejen de llorar, la niña solo duerme. Al escucharlo, las personas dejan de llorar y comenzaron a reír. Él no sabe que la niña está muerta, dicen todos. Jesús Entra en el cuarto de la niña junto con los padres de ella. Jesús toma la mano de la niña muerta y le dice, Vamos pequeña, vamos pequeña, levántate. Y la niña abre los ojos, sonríe y se levanta. 
Jesús resucitó a la hija de Jairo. Jesús la hizo vivir de nuevo. La niña salta de la cama y corre a abrazar a su mamá y a su papá. Preparan, preparan algo muy sabroso de comer para la niña, ordena Jesús. Gloria a Jesús. Jesús es poderoso para hacer cualquier cosa, incluso resucitar a una persona muerta. Amén. Amén. Ese es el milagro de Jesús. Ahora tenemos las fotos y vamos a hablar de las fotos. La primera foto es este. Este es Jairo. Este es Jairo. Y está muy preocupado. Está muy triste. Y le pide ayuda a Jesús porque él tiene fe. Él tiene fe que Jesús puede sanar a su hija. All right, so this is J Jairus, Jairus, and this is Jesus. Jairus is very sad, he's very desperate because his daughter is dying, his daughter is very sick. And he believes in his heart that Jesus can save his daughter. So that's why he came to him. And this is when um, he was, J Jairus was told that the little girl had passed away. So he's just very sad. The little girl's basically dead in on the bed. Um, this is Jairo. Ya recibió la noticia que su hija ya, muer ya murió. Y ahí está ella en su cama, sin vida. Pero recuerda que él invitó a Jesús a la casa de él. Y Jesús está allí en esa casa. Um, so remember that Jair Jairus invited Jesus to his home. So Jesus is in his house right now. So I'm just showing you that she has passed away. And lastly, Jesus actually grabs her from the hand and tells her to get up. And just like that, she got up. That's the miracle of Jesus. The power that Jesus Christ has, he can like he can give life to the dead. And here's a perfect example of the little girl. She's happy, very happy to be alive because she has another opportunity in life. And that's Jesus and that's her. Very happy. Ahora en esta foto puedes ver que Jesús ya resucitó a la niña. La niña está muy, muy contenta porque Dios le dio otra oportunidad para estar con su mamá y su papá um, y seguir viviendo. Y sabemos que Jesús tiene todo el poder para hacer cualquier milagro. Él la levantó de la muerte. Ella está muerta y la resucitó. Okay. Eso es todo lo que tenemos. Y tenemos una demostración, demostración demonstration um, muy pequeña. Ok, so we're going to go ahead and do the demonstration. Um, I know this is not the best, but this is our Jesus. Ok. And this is a little girl that has passed away. She's dead. And she's actually wrapped. Okay, so I, they put the blanket over her because she is dead. Um, so Jesus is actually approaching her. Oh, this este es Jesus. Y esta es la niña que falleció. Ella está en la cama. Y le pusimos una cobija sobre su gas, todo su cuerpo. Um, Jesus está llegando. Al, ya está en la casa de la niña de Jairo. Y Jesus le va a empezar a quitar la cobija. Y Jesús le agarra la mano a la niña y, la dice, y le dice que se levante. Y gracias a Dios la niña se levantó. Okay. Dios la resucitó de la muerte. Um, ella tuvo otra oportunidad de vivir con sus padres. Y ese es el milagro de Jesús. Okay. Um, so Jesus is already in Jer Jerus. Jairus, Jairus, um, house, and um, the little girl was actually laying down in her bed. They put a blanket over her. Jesus actually approached her, took off the blanket, grabbed her hand, as it is written in the Bible, and then he said the words, um, I believe they're Hebrew, um, to get up, and the little girl, you know, stood up, 
And this was Jesus' miracle. Jesus was able to let this girl um, have another chance in life, um, you know, to, to be with her parents, with her family, and move on with life. All right, so that was our brief demonstration of, of this little scene, the, more, the most important scene of Jesus' miracle. All right, um, es todo lo que tenemos hoy. Esta es la demostración que teníamos breve de la, como se, el milagro de Jesús. Es todo lo que tenemos por el día de hoy. Gracias por acompañarnos y Dios los bendiga. Thank you for watching. God bless you guys. Bye.